My friends, what is going on? Hope you're doing well. Been about a week or so since the last video. Um, so kind of wanted to do a follow up on still where I think it's going to be going. If you haven't done so already, please go watch that one because that's going to be the one that I, I really tie in why I still think there's overall downside potentially in the market um, and how I back it up with what the chart is telling me. Um, so this is going to be a little bit more of a follow up video to that one. Um, if you're new to the channel, first and foremost, thank you. I appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe, comment, all that. That good stuff. Um, if you've been here for a while, you guys know the deal. I love and appreciate you guys as well. Um, nothing I'm giving you is financial advice. Everything I'm doing is uh, technical analysis, predicting on the chart what I think the next, you know, most likely moves are um, so you can make awesome decisions for yourself, your family, and your portfolio. That's the way I trade and do things is I use the setups um, that I see on playing out on the chart uh, to potentially, you know, place to make trades with. Um, you know, it's it's not a perfect system. Um, no, it doesn't bat 100%. No, not every single trade I make is a good one or a green one. Um, I think I think I always play the good setups. I don't ever recklessly trade. Um, but they're, they're just, you're not going to have a 100% uh, win ratio. Um, you know, it's like I tell my Discord all the time. Your job is to play great setups. And if you play great setups enough, you're going to have way more wins than losses. And, you know, and the nice thing about the, the market is you can just compound those gains over and over and over again. So um, that's what I do. That's what it's all about. I try to keep everything level-headed and grounded. I don't have a bias towards the upside or the uh, downside. Uh, it's like I tweeted out a couple days ago. Um, and follow me if you haven't done so already on Twitter, Colin underscore Gladman. Uh, but it's okay to have a bias. Just don't necessarily trade off of that all the time, especially if your bias isn't being backed up by what you're seeing on the chart. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through you know, a couple of things where I still think there could be some short term bullishness, but overall to me, the larger move to the downside is uh, is still intact. OK, so let's jump into it. So uh, first things first on the spy chart. Um, this uh, we were right here when I made the video last week on uh it was on the 14th or what? Yes, like Monday the 14th. Um, and it, uh, it it pretty much played out exactly the way I said that it would. We came down here. We found support uh, right here at the 382, which was also uh, this double top resistance. And so I said it would kind of just basically make its way down and then start working it uh, back up for the uh, bull side. And, and that's exactly what has happened so far. Um, it's been pretty choppy here lately, but we finally got some decent moves uh, towards the end of the day. So... Um, you know, what does that mean overall? Well, to me, what it means is number one, if we go look over here at VIX, so um, the VIX is the volatility index. And, you know, yeah, you know, the most common theme, if you will, is you don't perform, excuse me, uh, like technical analysis on VIX. And, and to a large extent, I definitely agree with them. Um, however, there's been some certain and some key levels that you get to um, where VIX has reversed. So like here was the uh, rally um, in, in March and April before um, once again, if, if VIX is moving up, that's going to mean typically you're going to see SPY uh, moving down. And then here was the one in the uh, 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 August uh, summer rally right here. So we're pushing back down to those levels. You know, VIX starts getting into that 1819 range, and I'm definitely going to expect a uh, turnaround to the upside for VIX, or the that would mean the downside in the overall markets. Um, also too, if you look at the dollar right here, um, you know, the dollar is coming up on a decision point. Um, I think last time, I don't remember if I did it in the video on here, or was it, it was for my Discord, but I was kind of talking about how, you know, this was kind of making an ascending triangle right here. Um, and you got a breakout and now it looks like you're coming back down to retest. So a potential move back to the upside there. Um, and kind of same thing, the stronger the dollar is, the weaker the markets are. So if we're looking at SPY now, you know, what we can anticipate now is I think, you know, obviously we haven't gotten up here to the uh, 0.65, but I, I do think the most likely is probably coming up here and retesting somewhere between that 707 and the 786. Once again, please go watch uh, my video that I posted on November 14th, walks you through exactly why I think that's going to be the top of this move. Um, also too, we're just getting to some key levels where the risk versus reward for bulls is just not going to be great at these levels. Um, let me go back out to the daily here and I'll kind of show you why. So we're going to be coming up on the uh, obvious, you know, big bear trend where we've gotten kicked off where all the other previous runs have been canceled. We also, oops, let me 
but we've also got between, I'm going to need that. So we're already, right now, we've been currently getting uh, rejected off the 200 day uh, EMA, but we've also got the 200 uh, simple moving average that's going to be coming up in. Um, you know, between you've got the 0.65 and the 200 EMA right there, then you got the 200 and the 707 hanging out right there. So I do think a potential move to somewhere around 405, maybe even this, you know, gap fill up here that would take us to around like 408, 409 uh, before we start to see a larger uh, correction to the downside. Um, now, also from a news standpoint, we've got the uh, Fed minutes are going to be released tomorrow at uh, two o'clock Eastern. Eastern, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I, I might be wrong, but I believe it's two o'clock, which would be one o'clock my time. Uh, I'm central, but I believe it's two o'clock Eastern. Um, plus, I also believe we've got a jobs report tomorrow uh, before the uh, market opens. So if you are getting, you know, a, a, a slow pump um, into those Fed minutes being released, uh, just be cautious um, because that could be the start of the next leg down at that point in time. So overall, that is going to be what I am looking for on spot. And so like I said, it's just if, if you were a bull, there's there's plenty of reasons to sit out and wait right now. And if you're a bear, there's plenty of reasons to start looking at taking positions here pretty soon at these next key levels. So um, that's why I think you're potentially going to see the top out of this move. Um, and, you know, unless we start getting, you know, it almost seems like every single day the Fed comes out with a different story um, where it's just like I saw one was saying that, uh, one of the Fed speakers earlier this week was kind of like, oh, I'd like to see us kind of move away from 75 point hikes. And then the very next day was 75 point hikes are not off the table. So there's just, it seems like the Fed's talking out of both sides of their mouth. So there's going to be a lot of uncertainty uh, going into the uh, December uh, CPI, which is going to be, I believe it's the 15th and the 16th of December. Also, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure on that one. Um, so like I said, it's just, there's a lot of reasons to start going for bears to start taking positions um, and and for, for bulls to kind of chill out a little bit here. So um, I think short term, like I said, Let's recap everything. Short term, I'm still seeing a potential move all the way up as high as you know 408. Um, you know the 786 at 412. That would really be my top of the uh, move. You can see how uh, this move that I talked about last time actually turned out into a, a really nice looking falling wedge. Um, typically, for like day traders, how you would play out uh, that falling wedge is it comes up about as high as it started. And so typically, you know, whether you do that double top, change this back to white, um, whether you do the uh, double top or you play the inverse 786, which is going to be right around that 400 range. So pretty much where we're at, um, this is a pretty common place for people to start taking profits. So there's just, there's, there's a lot of resistance ahead of us. Um, you know, my Discord knows exactly how I'm going to be playing it. Essentially, um, for me to get, you know, perma bull, I'm going to need to see some good solid breaks, some retests, and then some continued push-ups along the way. Um, obviously, like I've said many times before, I never think that, you know, th this is not the end of the world. You know, even if we get one more leg down, it's not the end of the world. Um, it is, we're going to have, uh, for me, I'm just trying to sit on as much cash as I can, not taking a lot of positions. Um, and, and then once I really think we're getting close to the bottom, um, then I'm going to start, you know, I, like I said, I really think five, 10 years down the road, you're going to be very happy with your purchases, but only time will tell on that one. So uh, last but not least, I'll finish up with AMC. Um, as of right now, AMC is still above that 0.5. So it's, it's been hanging on to this uh, 0.5 macro fib um, with all its life. Uh, like I said, uh, posted an update or I said if it doesn't come down here and catch a bounce on the bottom trend and it didn't even really quite get there before it saw a nice little bounce there. Um, still no volume coming into this thing. So um, like I said, what we would be looking for is, you know, we, you want to see this continue to, you know, break to the upside. The longer and longer and longer it chops around in here, the, the more and more convinced I'm going to be that it's going to come down here and we're going to get a gap fill and 618 touch, which I would still think is by far and away my most likely I would give it about, because I, I still think the overall market's going to get another leg down. So I give it about 70% chance we're still going to get the gap fill and see some lower lows before uh, some real potential recovery starts taking place. So it's just my personal opinion. Once again, not financial advice. I laid out the bull case and the bear case for you. 
Um, and it's, it's like I said, it, it's just what I'm seeing. So, you know, if you start getting a break above these, you know, big bear trend lines and you start making some higher highs and you really start basing above those and the volume's picking up, then I 100% can get behind, you know, potentially the bottom is in. I just think that's by far and away not my uh, most likely scenario. I still think we're still think we're going to see another leg down, but that's just my personal opinion, my friends. Once again, hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, please reach out to me on Twitter if you would like to join uh, the Discord. Um, I won't announce it right now, but I'm about to have uh, some specials that I'm going to be doing for the holiday season uh, around the uh, Discord. Um, so like I said, follow me on Twitter. Once again, it's Colin underscore Gladman. And... Uh, Shoot me a DM if you got any questions, but that's the easiest way to keep up with everything that I think is going to be going on. Much love, my friends. I will see you guys in the next video and the next update. Um, let me be the first to uh, wish you guys a very you know, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, put the phones away. Get away from the charts, all that good stuff. <laughs> this is pot calling the kettle black, all right? Um, but... Uh, you know, really uh, take some time to uh, remember what you're thankful for. Uh, I'm thankful for all you guys. Um, you know, I never would have guessed that anything about Twitter or YouTube would have turned into what it is. So I hope it's helpful to you. I hope you're learning. Um, I want to wish you guys the very best uh, Thanksgiving. Um, don't bring up politics or Moaz. It's your family Thanksgiving. All right. <laughs> Much love, my friends. I'll see you guys in the next video.